and it might be telling if they forsake the black magic entirely, and we're seeing it moving now. The one white magic, cure four! Ooh, tasty. And wall, that's a pretty much a free pick right there, and we see Sonny Rap not going for the black magic. I mean, if you commit early on to a particular strategy around not using the Thief, then every second you spend in a black shop is a waste of time, so that makes some sense. Indeed. Seeing as our other two runners um, are either a little bit behind or they haven't gone on yet. Hoping it's just a little bit of uh, stream lag on their ends, um, and we'll be seeing them catch up pretty soon. Yeah, and we're seeing... Uh... One gold to stay at the end of Canaria. Pretty much a free end stay. We see the Kazardi Islands here, I believe they're called, being checked for uh, their items. Meanwhile, Starscream is going to go check the old man here, and he's going to give us the bottle. Yeah, we're uh, we're diving off in all these different directions because the thing we need to do at level one, which is kill any boss, is something we can't do until we acquire probably a caster item or maybe a very good weapon, like um, Coral Sword or something on the Thief is like possible to kill Garland with. Well, it may, this seems maybe okay to run a ninja on because we have the Ice 3 and Lit 2 as our level one magic. Okay, Ice 3 is... Ice 3 convinces me. Lit 2 is whatever. Pro rings here in the uh, Crescent Lake. It looks like we have life at level 6. Oof. Alright. Circle of Sages gives us the canoe. Ooh, vanilla. But yeah, every key item is important here. Most, Probably the most important key item to find is the magic key. It's not required in the seed, but because of the settings we have, going through that full chain gives us pretty much an extra 100% experience growth. Yes, and uh, for those unfamiliar with the, the fetch quest and the key items, uh, at some point you can find a crown, and that crown then you take to the king Astos, or the evil king, who then gives you the crystal from Atoya, who gives you the key, for, or sorry, the herb for the elf, and then the key to unlock doors and find even more key items. So it's something like a 100% EXP boost when you add it all up. Yeah, and that's also including the fact that one of the locations that the key locks is the uh, TNT chest in Corneria, a castle, which is also incentivized to have a key item. Or it could have our monster move, for all we know. Yes, there are uh, two pieces of gear in the pool and the incentive uh, items that uh, you can find from NPCs instead of just uh, quest items, and those are the monster move and the strongest weapon in the game, and the power gauntlet, which is a, um, a item that can equip as a gauntlet and can also cast Saber on oneself. So we had a ribbon sighting in the shop, and the rob is for sale. Ruby! <laughs> Ruby in the, I guess, the pantry of the of the giant. Well, I mean, it's it's kind of a off vanilla. I don't even know what to call it when it's inside the Titan's Trove. Ooh, I wonder when the last time Shadowwalker saved was. Oh, fortunately, right before leaving Canary, it looks like. Yeah, we're gonna see uh, Provoke here now. Checking the weapon shop first. Um. Not great options here. Bane Sword, though, might be helpful. Yeah, actually, Bane Sword could get through the pirates. That's good enough. Well, it also could just be a way to have the thief do something. Cast Bane. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, in the Cardia Islands is everyone's favorite sword in chat, right? Wink, wink. The Vorpal, which we might see the uh, thief wielding at some point if they promote. Heal helmets being sold at the call. Once you get the sound stamp. Provoca? I think it's Provoca. Yeah. And by the way, thanks to our restreamer Edgeworth, who's set this all up for us and has gotten the streams back in sync for us all to watch. Excellent. Good job there. 
right, so now we're finding the pirates. And the, oh, there was a Thor hammer found at some point. So I don't think he's got that. Clears this right quick with a quick cast of lit two from it. Nice. Yeah, I really like the um, the fire based and lightning based uh, elemental items to get you going because there's a lot of enemies out there that are weak to those things. And if absolutely, oh, the tail. Yeah, that's huge. So now we can really see runners pick and choose. Am I going to commit to this ninja, or am I going to commit to this black belt? Or both, maybe. Maybe they level up to a certain point and get some defense on the black belt, and then they go for the magic charges on the ninja. I think 32 is a safe bet for the black belt. Then maybe class change to get a few more levels on the ninja. Or just kill off your thief. Get your black from 32, and then as you're looking for your grind to make it into the 42, you get your thief up there as well. So he has a few, your, your ninja at that point, rather, and get a few charges on him. Um, so based on the price of ribbons, they're not inaccessible. Um, you, you will probably, in your grind, get enough money to buy three of those, Yay. but depending on the price... Ooh, ouch! Garland not playing around tonight. I and mean, we have alternate bosses. I am. I'm not sure if those Garland. If we have Garland and friends there. there the yeah, we don't know the alternate chaos. final boss yet. But if it's eight Garlands, that could be a little bit dicey. Yeah, that's almost as bad as let's say pirates. Um, to quickly wrap up the point I was making, uh, wall at level 1 really alleviates a lot of the equipment issues and worrying about buying ribbons. Um, usually you can get a cast of wall off before, say, the final fight starts, and your black belt can be unequipped and have that max uh, absorb bonus and still get the effects of a ribbon. Princess Sarah has the Q, but I didn't quite see what the king himself had. Meanwhile, we did see the level 2 ma black magic, and it's only the uh, warp. Nuke is at level 3, though! Ooh, that's important. So, that's going to really validate anyone who decides to go with the and promotion, heal three is even like for just a couple charges. Heal 3 and Fog 2 at level 3 as well, for the white mage. I'm definitely excited by the heal 3. I think Fog 2 almost never... You almost never get a chance to cast Fog 2, like, higher priority than another spell. And oh, and Life Shoes level 4. There's some great magic for the white mage here. What about level 4 black? Eh, that's yeah. not great. Yeah, that's, uh, I'll pass. But yeah, the main thing is Nuke is available, and I think learnable by the ninja. So you basically have two routes you can go, right? Like, if the final boss is the Eight Garlands Chaos, or if it's Double Dragon, a Black Belt is better off. But if you need AoE damage, you're going to need the charges on that ninja. And that's kind of why I'm leaning towards maybe a hybrid grind. Agreed. Get the Black Belt up to, like, 32. Spread your ninja, spread your thief, class change. Get your Black Belt up your... Now... Master actually is a 42 and get your spell charges on the ninja while you're at it. Yep, Gregory Puff in chat says sandworms are a solid grind. I agree, it's definitely a good get you going, and certainly to up into your 20s uh, or with a solo black belt higher than that, though um, I think some of our runners might look for a little bit nicer of a grind, especially when it comes to the gold. Sandworms don't get much gold. Uh, well, we might have a bad grind here in the Earth Cave actually. I'm not sure this is the Hall of Giants or not, but we have unrunnable Wiz Ogres. Okay, that was a random encounter. These uh, Perilisks down here, okay, that's just a random, but um, those usually die to like one sweeper of lightning or ice type, so that could have been um, you know, easy batch of EXP. Uh, so hold Thorhammers were sold in Melmond, actually. And Starscream is just going to straight-up class change. Same with Asher. And uh, I don't fault them at all. Um, sometimes you just... You give up one thing to uh, 
get a bigger advantage. In this case, it's going to be some of the magic defense on the black belt, but you want you even might get that nuke for your grind, right? The nuke in the ice three, you get charges at level 15. That can help you get into the mid 20s or up to around 30. I think Asher knows that it's nuke at the ma at the black magic, and yeah, Shadowwork's also doing it. Yeah, with level three where it, the nuke where it is, that is definitely the route they want to take. They're going to make that ninja into a pseudo black mage for the party. And Just... I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the ninja has a really high agility, so he tends to go first. Um, the. Turn order is not based on agility, it is just based on a random number, and it's slightly uh, weighted towards enemies in vanilla and more fair in randomizer. Um, however, the thief's luck value allows it to run more often in the early game, and if it's your party leader, get more uh, first strikes and, what do you call it, uh, avoid um, ambushes. Okay. Yeah, as chat points out, the uh, available magic plus ribbons really dampens the uh, loss of that magic defense from a promoted master. Yeah. And if it, they still are hurting a little bit, they could uh, opt to use the Fog 2 to set up on a turn, because we have not seen a Fade yet. Fade's either level 5, 7, or 8 at this point. I don't think we've seen the shop in Melbourne, and if we did, I missed what it was in there. Uh, so Leggy's Diving Marsh Cave, um, which is totally a fine play with this comp. I'm wondering if this is looking for one of those pieces of elite gear we talked about earlier. Could also just be trying to look at... Going down here to look at the Wizard Reptile. See what the uh, key item is here, because I think this is also incentivized. Yes, this Ooh. is an incentive chest. Um... It's a That's good a... battle for experience, for sure. Not taking it, though. It's a slab, though. Yeesh. So, that means nobody has crown for that big EXP jump, and nobody has... Am I correct? Nobody has Masamune or Power Gauntlet? That's we've seen. So, we're lacking a little bit in some of that single target damage, um, which kind of weights it even more towards wanting to get those magic spells going. Yeah, we found, I think, the Mage Staff at least, but nothing else there. And, ooh, it looks like one of the, these Mages and Fighters rolled a Poison Touch, and I think he's just going to say no to that. This uh, Garland fight over on, ooh, yikes, on <laughs> Shadow yeah, Walkers well. did not go well. I... I really hope that it's not Garland or Friends that, or Pides, whatever you call that eight Garland one. Uh, some people call it Peekaboo Chaos. Some people that's, call it that's Chaos That's the one and I, heard, I remember now. I think the I oh Rock Golems. Nice, nice. I'm a fan of Rock Golems. Is this a random encounter in Earth? Because I thought we saw the trap tiles. Uh, I didn't. We saw. We did not see the Hall of Giants. Oh, like the inside, because there's the outside one was the wizard ogres. Yeah. No, but that wasn't even the wizard ogres. That was just a random encounter, like, on the way back to the south. Ah, the trap, the hall of giants is actually sandworms. Oh, okay, okay. Either way, the rock golems are somewhere in the RNG, or sorry, in the um, encounter table, and I'm not sure where, because I'm not sure how recently that the... Uh, Runner head power cycle. One of the uh, really good tricks, um, if you need an alternate way to grind in this format, is to look for a fast um, walk to an encounter off of doing a hard reset, um, though it's not available in every seed because this is such a low encounter rate format. Meanwhile, the trap tile at the volcano has. Sentries. Yeah, I mean, Sentries is uh, similar to Sandworms. It's another kind of mid, middle of the road, get you there sort of grind. Um, I like these mages and fighters a lot, other than the fact that they're buried inside the uh, marsh cave. 
Yeah. Poison touch on them doesn't also doesn't help though. Here's the point. Sonny's drowning that out now. Um, they do poison, but uh, as I recently learned, cure four and uh, cures status in battle other than stone. So uh, they'll just cure that poison right off. Yeah, but something lose a couple of HP. Yeah, just reset the trap tile. Ooh, uh, Leggy is down to two characters, probably deliberately. So, given the seed, and the fact we have bottle and we have the slab, do you turn those in? Uh, no. I think it takes too long. Like, you're gonna get plus 20% experience for turning one of those things in. Well, think about the flight time and the walk through town time and all that. You could have done enough battles to probably overcompensate for that amount of experience. I suppose that is true as well. Um, those kinds of turns are best if, like, there's a particular scarcity of important resources or equipment and you're forced into a trip to Gaia uh, in the early game, then if you get that extra experience from Bottle early on, it can pay off over your whole grind. That's a little better. That makes sense, yeah. So Shadow Walker is still checking some chests, but everyone else is in some kind of a grind rhythm here, with Sonny the farthest ahead um, because he chose to uh, just immediately start fighting instead of looking around and class change and such. So there's a levels edge for Sonny, and that's going to come down to which strategy works out better for this Temple of Fiends role. Yeah, unfortunately for Sonny, I don't think he's checked, or they've checked rather, the uh, level 3 black magic doesn't even know that Duke is available for that ninja. Yeah, at this point, that information might even not be that valuable because leveling this much, that uh, Thief has already passed by a lot of the levels where the ninja easily gets spell charges. And so then you have to get even more levels after promotion just to get any. Ooh, hello, Red Hydras. Where'd you come from? That's actually a good scry, isn't it? Oh, but that might not be good. They have sleep. Ooh, not only is it hitting a lot, but also just when they cast sleep and it goes over your entire party repeatedly, that's like so slow. But the nuke wipes them out. Alright, let's see whether they were. Oh, they were a random encounter right outside the cave. Hmm, it doesn't seem like something Asher's uh, interested in looking for again. Well, imagine setting that up on the overworld. That's just going to take a fair bit of time. Yeah, I mean, it, again, I don't know how much overworld walking Asher has done, if that was the first or second or, like, third encounter off the uh, power cycle. Oh, Lucky's um, uh, ninja is alive again. I didn't even notice that. I mean, he has life too. Makes sense. Yeah, I guess you can oh, kind of toggle on. Uh, what was that? Sandworms have low morale. We just yes. Away. Deep in the hall of giants, though, we have Tyros! Yeah, that can. Looks like it can roll the Tyro or the Tyro and the Wyvern. Um for a little bit extra experience. That'd be an okay grind. Falconic in chat pointing out that uh, if you have a lower level character in your top slot, that um, changes the likelihood that the enemies will run uh, because it uh, won't conflict with their morale as much. So that could be a strategy to keep them in the fight. Yeah, but I think these Tyros... I think we're going to have a feast of, I believe it's the steak? Um, I mean, this is an okay grind. Like, 
19 minutes into the seed, if I was already grinding on something else, I wouldn't say, ooh, Tyro and Wyvern, this is so much better. It's kind of a side grade. Yeah, I can at least admit it to that, but at the same time, the outer grind, the sandworms, they don't exactly want to stick around. Yeah, so that was where the, the whole, like, maybe shuffle your party members if you're doing an uneven leveling strategy comes in. If they're all the same, of course, it won't matter. Yeah. I, th I think Stark's going to settle on uh, taking these uh, Tyros out. As much as, he does as much as she doesn't want to. This is a nice 4,000 experience pop. Alright, so my eyes on Sonny's screen here, because anytime someone's at past 20 minutes and not grinding but shopping, that usually means they're about to dive into Temple of Fiends Revisited, so Sonny could be our first to make a trip. And it looks like Leahy will be following shortly behind them. And yeah, Sonny is going to just forego the thief here. It doesn't look like they have any equipment on whatsoever. Or no, that's well, the black belt. That yeah, I mean the black belt can be unequipped and have way more absorb. And uh, ooh, there goes Garland. I was like, is that a fiend? No, that's just Garland that died one hit. Looks like we found another enemy encounter here. Air Naga. That's level 32 for the Black Belt and the White Mage over on Leggy's end. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's a delicious enemy group. Yeah, very low HP too, but uh, this is a lot of encounters in, so it's just one jolt of experience for Asher now, and he's not going to be able to reuse it. Yeah, first enemy, first stream we're fighting is Carry. Three ninety three. It starts with Inferno. Oof, Inferno. That's a spicy one, quite literally. <laughs> yeah, Thieves going to be throwing Thor hammers around, as is the White Mage. I think carries rolled high on the match defense side. Three hits, 93 damage from her. Ooh, that's a high HP carry, too. Yeah, 597 did not even go down. Second fight is Tiamat. Will he behave? Also, Sonny did not heal between fights, which, um, I mean, given that there was about 300 HP to make up there on the Black Belt is a little bit scary. I mean, Fight Wizard has... Cure for. Not much there. Thunder mm. on Tiamat, though. Yeah, Thunder. Uh, pretty sure, sure that's a vanilla ability, right? It's on the blue gra blue dragon and then on Tiamat as well. Tiamat also having, uh, looks like, Ice 3. Four hits, 231 damage. Oof, this this team it looks to be a beefy one. Yeah, and no bonk, no fast, but we do have temper. Uh, there was temper at a sub four level. Oh, and clear as well in Tiamat's move list. Everyone just barely alive for Sonny. Yeah, after seeing this, if I uh. In Sonny's position, if I wipe, I'm totally going on the other side next time. Speaking of which, we might see that from Leggy Starscream, who is now also in Tower of Fiends. Ooh, uh, Thalfin in chat points out, of course, that uh, Sonny did not promote. Sonny doesn't have black magic, which includes that temper. And Leggy's going the opposite side, so we're about to see what that uh, pathway looks like. Well, it's Lich and the Kraken. And for the fight, we have Warmech and friends. Oh man, you really want that nuke for the fight. Yeah, this is a scary one. If Sonny pulls through all, you will be amazed. But at the same time... 
If the evil men give you physicals, they're not as scary, right? They usually are only bad if they themselves have a big damaging spell. Yeah. Of course, the issue here is... Uh... Sonny did not grind any magic, so it'll be a little bit of extra time to go get some spell charges. Whereas if Leggy gets there, or one of our other two runners, they will have nukes available to at least clear off the bad men. Yeah, Sonny is in one of those positions where it's like, you have to get it on your first try, or else you probably get lapped because the other runners came in more prepared. Alright, healing the black belt. We're gonna start wailing on the... That was a clutch heal, by the way. Just save the black belt's life. And that something tells me it's not gonna be the last one. One more mech is down. down. Oh, but the other war mech knows Bane. You're for keeping the, the black belt, the thief alive, rather. Like to see those ice twos. Leggy's pulling the fight now as well. Oh, this is close. This is really close. Ooh, Black Belt's life Black continues Belt's to dead. be saved, but turn order could change the uh, the fate here. Gets the heal off. One more swing, and I think that's it. Quad X misses. That's it. GG. Sonny Wrath comes in first place in the first race with an official SRL time of 27.53. Uh, slightly desync from our on screen timer, so excuse that. That's right. Now, he gets. Now, Sonny Wrath gets three points for finishing in first place, and then we have three heats for you tonight, so this is only the first of three races we're going to be showing you. Second place will get two points, and third place will get one place. The top two points leaders, after all three heats are done, will be advancing, if I understand those brackets right. Um, this one, this round of eight, uh, has a slightly different formula, uh, where the top one of each of the two four-person pods gets a buy into a finals round. The semifinals pod is made out of second and third place from each pod, and fourth is out of the tournament. Okay, so... As long as you're not last here, you're still in. Yep. And uh, speaking of that, Leggy Starscream gets two points and is well on her way to not finishing in last. So GG. That's an official SRL time of 28.54. Yep. GG's as well. And yeah, that if Sony lost the black belt there, that would have been Leggy's victory because of the nuke. Yeah. And Similarly... Leggy's uh, black belt was down to like 200 some HP when there were still two Warmax alive, so that was a uh, clutch escape as well. Now, are we going to be interviewing these folks, or are they, we're going to wait till the end of all three heats? Uh, why don't I double check? While here, Asher's almost through this fight. Ooh, spicy one damage from the ninja there. Oh, the white mage goes down, but that doesn't matter. Asher has defeated the War Mecha friends, finishing with a time of 30 minutes and 12 seconds. GG, Asher. So Shadow Walker will be the last to uh, pull the final boss, um, and of course will attempt to finish the dive. Uh, even if it's no points, you want to finish for honor and style. Yeah. And yeah, Nuke helped a lot in this fight. But the person who won did not get it, which is what is so fascinating about this kind of seed. Two completely different strategies were executed, and the one out of four that used a different one was first place. Indeed, indeed.
so yeah going into this uh next race anyone who's um lower on the point scale like asher or shadow walker is going to be feeling a little bit of pressure down for Shadow Walker. He's finishing strong here. Ooh, Poison Smoke slain on the White Mage, so gotta, yeah, has to get through with that punch and does. So that Shadow Walker finished uh, with this